my name is Nataki, Manager of Brand and Student Recruitment at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. I'm here at our postgraduate lounge where all our postgraduate students can come and relax and study and just have a moment to themselves. And today I have with me Dr. Wendy Ann Isaac, who's going to chat with us a little about the MSc in Food Security. Hello, Dr. Isaac. Hi, good morning. What I want to ask you, because there are some persons who are very interested in the MSc in Food Security, what kind of courses would you usually have to do if you are doing the MSc? Well, in our program, we have a range of courses. Mm -hmm. All of them are core courses. We actually have nine courses in our program and one study experience where students will be able to come and face-to-face -face be with an employer. Okay. Uh, of our nine courses, we have one which is the current issues in food security. Mm -hmm. It is a course that exposes students to the challenges and, and various um, advanced technological advancements in food security. Mm -hmm. We also have sustainable food production systems, another course which is very interesting, as well as climate smart courses. And uh, one of the high points is our course in risk resilience. So tell me a bit about the Risk Resilience course. It sounds as if it's something very current. Right, the Risk Resilience course is a course that exposes students to various aspects of mm -hmm. risk that are involved in food security. Mm -hmm. So students will be introduced to things like um, how they manage um, and, and be resilient in, in climate change, for example. Right. Um, how you be prepared for things like conflicts, mm -hmm. trade wars, and even things like um, climate change. Right. Right, so this is very important and one of the high points of our program. Okay, it sounds pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned just now about student experience and chatting with employers. How, how does that work? All right, one thing I didn't mention is that our course is a blended program. Our mm -hmm. program is a blended program. So that we have nine courses that are done online mm -hmm. and the only interaction that students will have with, well, uh, real-time uh, exposure mm -hmm. is with um, employers in the study experience. Okay. The study ex experience is where we align students um, to different employers who are all engaged in food security. Okay. So for example, some of them will go to work at FAO, others will go to work at the World Food Program, others again will go to work with the Ministry of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you, since you're on the topic of employers, one of the things I wanted you to just chat about are the career options because sometimes someone is interested in doing a postgraduate study but they're really not sure how this will move my career to the next level. I'm already, I'm already in a career, I have a job, how will this take me to the next level? So can you tell us a bit about career opportunities and how persons use the Masters in Food Security to help them in their careers? One of the high points I didn't mention about our program is the fact that we introduce students to develop policies. Mm -hmm. Right, so now with that that bag that um, background that background in, 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 in developing policies, students can now go to work at various ministries of mm -hmm. um, agriculture. They can also go to work at the Food and Agricultural Organization, and um, at, at these the various institutes, they will mm -hmm. be able to be writing policies. Right. And um, it, the program also targets students who um, are developing as entrepreneurs. So agri-entrepreneurs right. and different technologies in agriculture as well, climate smart technologies, mm -hmm. so that students could go um, set up their own businesses mm -hmm. or they could align themselves with various companies where they will you know, work towards developing policies and all those other things as well. So there's a wide range, so they get the mm -hmm. academic and they also get the experience and they could use that to help with their career. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Yeah. So Dr. Isaac, can you tell me a little bit about how the courses were developed? Because I believe we touch all our campuses. Yes, certainly. We had, we developed this program together with personnel from Mona Campus and Cape Hill. In fact, some of our courses actually come from Sermes in Cape Hill. Okay. Right, and the lecturers over there, they deliver most of the material to our students. Okay, so as an MSc in food security, student, you'll have lecturers from all our campuses. From all our campuses and more as well. Okay, that's excellent. Um, Thanks very much, Dr. Isaac. We really appreciate you coming to chat with us today about our MSc in food security. And thank you for listening.